Welcome to Y'all See This. Reacts. This is Eva. Oh my gosh. And this is Misty on her Android. I had to record on my phone this week, guys, because I forgot to um, charge the iPad. It's been a very, very busy week. Um, I guess I should say one thing. Uh, by the time we get to our next one, it'll already be passed. So happy birthday, mom. So you, can, you can have that one. It's 65 whole years. There you go. Tell Miss Cat happy birthday for me. Oh. If y'all ever want to hear from her, you know, you can always go back and listen to our Mother's Day episode. She's definitely in there. Uh, we're going to jump right into our catch up. I am going to give you my auntie tunes of the week. I happened into two different artists and I don't know, it was just something about the vibe of them. First one is Andy Minio. And the song is Mama Taught Me. And it was so good, guys. And what I ended up finding out, because I liked it so much, I went and started looking up the guy. Um, apparently, he's in Christian rap. And it's okay. actually good. Then I happen to hear another artist named Lady Bree. Now, if you're anybody who likes uh, how Lizzo kind of does like storytelling and stuff in her songs, you get that same vibe here. The song I was listening to was called Make It A Move, and I thought it was Lizzo. What about you, Ev? I mean, it's just been a regular week, work week, full week. I had I worked from Monday to Saturday, and I was mm -hmm. tired. So I'm glad that is over. And then I get a long weekend, sort of. I get two days, because I'm off Monday, like many of us workers are. <laughs> so oh. happy celebration, Labor Day, for all the workers. No. Nope. Um, I'll be working. Oh, you'll be working. Well, we'll, we'll still celebrate with you and celebrating you as a worker in, in the workforce. <laughs> Just kind of hanging out, watching TV, hanging out, Um, you know, House of the Dragons. I was going to say, did, do you want to talk about it a little bit? Do we? Yeah. Are you ready now? Maybe we can do a full review on it. Do... Like three episodes or something next week? Yeah. Let's do a full <laughs> review next time. Um, all right, that guys. We're all caught up. Okay, yeah. so this is, we're going to go ahead we put, you know, we are a spoilerful podcast, but I actually do want to talk about uh, Lord of the Rings, Power of the Rings of um, Power. Have you seen it? I watched the uh, one and a half. I kind of fell asleep because I was really tired, but um, it was good. Mm -mm. You didn't like it? I did not I at all. And I, and that's not actually quite true. I liked all of the different stories. But they okay. crammed all them things right into the first episode. And there was no, like, there was no hint that these were all going to eventually come together. There was no, I didn't like it. I didn't like the way they, they formatted it. I didn't always love the way the acting came across on screen. Um, and I know she's supposed to be, like, the main character and we're supposed to be completely all about Galadriel. Mm -hmm. I, I, I don't like her. She's annoying. Really? <laughs> I wish she was not the main character. Like oh. I want someone else. Or like the dwarf. Like let let that story, the friendship between Durin. Yes. Durin. I wanted that to be Durin. the main story. But or even the Harfoot thing, that was like it just felt it felt cluttered and it felt oh. too busy and I didn't like it. And so I'm not going to be continuing to watch it, which is fine. Oh, really? I, yeah, I'm not wasting time. We're not I'm too we're you know what I mean? I had a birthday. We're almost 40. We're, we got to keep it going. Okay, also, okay. Everybody, my daughter says hello. I don't have that much backstory for it because like I didn't really, I watched the other movies, but I really, I never really been interested. Um, I come and go. I don't like when the dragon's real talky and all that. Like I really <laughs> am not a Lord of the Rings person. Um, so for me going into this, this is, I'm getting this all new. Like when she makes references, like, oh, anything that's not what I'm seeing, I don't know. So uh, for me, it was just like, oh, this is nice. I like this. I really did like when they got to, um, I guess he's a dwarf or whatever, with the one yeah. with the red hair. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. So I like that relationship with his friend, um, him being upset about the 20 years going by. And the I don't really have a view. Like, I'm gonna have to wait till like, it's almost over to be like, I hated it or something. But right now I like the way it's going. I but like I said, I have no frame of rest reference. The one thing I do like give this show, oh, it's beautiful. Like the, the shot, Isn't it? it is gorgeous. 
it is it's like lush like a very real and very much wild and and you know open and just gorgeous so whoever is doing like the cinematography and the cgi and all that stuff congratulations you did an excellent job like i am good job excellent yeah. um so yeah so let's go ahead and head into the show we're gonna start with an update yes so a few weeks ago <laughs> i love this update so much <laughs> So a few weeks ago, we did speak about a pregnant mother in Dallas who had gotten a ticket in the HOV lane. And mm -hmm. she, um, so her name is Brenda, and I'm probably going to mispronounce her last name, so I apologize in advance, but Tony, I think. Um, so she did bite the ticket, or she argued with the police officer who had pulled her over and said, I'm 34 weeks pregnant, and that had been just around the time when Texas had declared that abortions were awful and that we were going to have... Um, that fetuses were whole people. So she said, yes. there are two people in this car, so I don't know why I'm getting a ticket. Right. <laughs> so she actually did end up going to court um, on that ticket, and that ended up being dismissed by the judge. Congratulations. In, I think it was July. That was um, June. It was, so that one, that particular ticket was dismissed by the judge. She ended up getting a second ticket in the HOV lane with the same police officer. <laughs> A couple weeks after that, <laughs> not the same guy, the same guy, she says that when he pulled her over, he even said you again before giving her another ticket. <laughs> I, look, I wonder if he ever followed up with the ticket and realized that she actually got that one dismissed. I mean, either way, it's, it's setting precedent. It's going to get the second one's probably going to get dismissed again as yep. well. Um, so the second passenger in her car has finally been born. So that is kind of our update. The The second passenger has been born as well. So congratulations, Miss <laughs> Brandon. <laughs> now, with the baby actually physically being like in the car in a separate seat from her, can she use that then? I mean, now there's two people. Now there's no, like there's no, because I mean, we do consider like babies whole people. She can't get the HIV ticket. <laughs> So I, that was that made me happy and I thought that was hilarious. I can't believe he gave her the ticket again. Like, yeah. sir, you're doing the most. And it does feel like one of those things, he had to know it got all of that national attention. We are celebrating Serena after winning spectacularly, I must say. Did you happen to watch it, either one of the uh, first no. ones? It's on my list. I did follow it in the news just to know what the results were, but I didn't actually watch. Um, I watched it here and there. Now, I, what I can say is you couldn't have missed more than her mother. <laughs> Why? The fact that her mom was sleeping. When I say her mom, Orsine is not impressed. Orsine has been to too many matches. She was sitting there just like this. Sleep, knocked. And Serena's twirling and winning. And she's just like, is it time to go yet? And I can't even, I, I, I'm not even going to front. I get it. She's probably like, she's so good. I already know, like, if she was to lose, it's like, what did, what did she lose? First night, they they came, they had her come out to, like, music pumping, introductions, like it was, like, a title match. I think they were trying to do a thing of give her a flout. And then they did it again for the second one. Okay. And then on this one, they actually did, like, a history of her twirls. So on the back camera that's behind her, uh, you see her twirling through the ages and it was really cute. It was nice. I'm going to be honest. It seems like, I feel like Serena should have retired before. I'm not saying like this is spectacular and great, but I feel like she may have lost her interest for it after she had the kid. Do you get that feeling or do you feel like she has the same? No, I feel like it felt like she had been on the court so long that they were kind of gunning for her. And so every time she had, you know, had any kind of emotion, they were like you're so and and that's when i thought she was going to be like okay i'm done like y'all are y'all keep coming after me for you know having these same emotions that y'all favorite stars have and there was all that that really gross stuff that in the comics that people were doing and i was just like i mean i would have i would have quit yeah. especially um she you know what she says she made over her lifetime okay so it see she stands as the highest female athlete of all time of prize money across all sports with 94 million five hundred eighteen hundred 
$1,971. That's as of February 21st this year. And that's not even counting any of her sponsorship deals or nope. any of that thing, or any of the extra stuff that she's doing. So, mm -hmm. and also the fact she's made a house husband out of the founder of Reddit. She's the fourth highest athlete yeah. in tennis. Of course, she's behind three men. Well, that's just the weight gap, but we'll, we can talk about that in another conversation. <laughs> she's the GOAT. We will miss her. She did, I think, like you said, there there's kind of been like that moment of she has said she is retiring and there's been those letters kind of to the to the fans and the yeah. um, the op-eds everywhere and everyone's giving her her flowers which I'm so happy to see yeah. to hear like every time someone else comes out and is like Serena's amazing she has changed the face of tennis but also like the the audience like the the audience of tennis she's changed the trajectory of yeah. who wants to go into tennis and what it will look like in 10 15 20 years yeah what, it, what it's starting to look like now so yay her. So Coco Golf did win her um her tennis match today too. And okay. I was like, yeah, I'm, and so you know, I was like, that that's Serena. <laughs> that's Serena right there. So I'm very happy that she's getting, you know, her well deserved rest. Yay her. Happy retirement, Serena Williams. Before we head on out of here, I just want to give everyone a reminder, we will have an episode dropping for Labor Day. We are not discussing Labor Day at all, but you'll be celebrating it with us. It will be the episode for this week. We will actually be getting into some movies that we wanted to watch, and you can find out if we actually did. Head on over to Spotify, Apple, everywhere to listen to our podcast to hear about that. And obviously, we will be back next week, next Wednesday. Thank you, and see bye. Did y'all see that? Did you see that? Did you see that?